People have been planting trees for centuries, and that effort has been intensifying in Tucson for decades. Tens of thousands of new specimens are growing in the city, thanks to a cooperative effort that helps Mother Nature and human beings. I think it's so important, and it's so important, especially in Tucson, where there's not a lot of green, for kids to have a chance to go and be in nature, and just for the community to see it and appreciate it and value the environment as well. Yeah. Anything that's in the path that's gonna get big, we're just gonna take it out. Okay. At Changemaker High School in Tucson, students are improving the surrounding area by getting out of the classroom and into the community. There is in-depth discussion, interactive engagement, and a commitment to action. When Adilena Rivera started talking to nearby residents, some expressed a desire for more greenery in the neighborhood. The school searched for resources and made contacts. Now, a wish is turning into reality, one little tree and one committed volunteer at a time. We went around to did some surveys to see how people would collaborate more. And Trees for Tucson came and they started showing us how to plant trees. They trained us how to plant the trees. Tucson's mayor is also here. He's been promoting planting trees since he was first elected to office in 2011. It started out with just sort of a, a comment where I said if two people come together who might think they're different politically and they plant a tree, they'll find they have more in common than they have it different. For student Adilena Rivera, the experience has also helped her in unexpected ways. The trees are growing and she is flourishing, learning new skills including communication. I used to be a very shy person, the corner of this desk, don't talk to no one. And now it's like, I want to get my word out there. A few miles east of Changemaker High School, residents from the Rincon Heights Neighborhood Association near the University of Arizona began their own community beautification program in the late 1980s. Today, the fruits of their labor, which includes native plants and water harvesting systems, are thriving. These are established trees we planted about 25 years ago. And um, before we planted them, there was nothing here. It was just very barren and hot. And now we have almost continuous canopy in the summertime. So there's, it's nice and shady when it's leafed out. Transformation has taken years of work and cooperation, and it's still a work in progress. Melody Peters has been there all the way, digging, weeding, planting, prodding, and encouraging. It's always rewarding. Um, it sometimes has been a great deal of work, organizational and bureaucratic, getting permits, getting buy-in from the residents who are receiving trees is sometimes very difficult, but it's certainly rewarding. When I first brought them here, they were this big. They were in a Dixie cup. And I planted them through Dixie cups. Didn't have to dig a really big hole at that time, but I guess the hole was sufficient because they sure has, have grown well. It began um, because we had two um, landscape architects in the neighborhood who heard about Trees for Tucson starting a program they called back then Global Relief. The idea was to try to mitigate climate change by planting lots of trees. So they wanted to get a whole bunch of trees planted right away. So we jumped in on that program. Is there going to be any kind of picnic table where they can sit under the tree or...? Yeah. Joan Lionetti has been the executive director of Tucson Clean and Beautiful since 1987, which oversees Trees for Tucson. Tucson Clean and Beautiful is responsible for various programs, including the trees whose canopies are expanding all across the city. We've planted since 1989, approximately 165,000 trees throughout the community. With people, we haven't. The community has planted it. And so it tells you when you have an idea or a, a challenge and you move forward on it and it's coming from the ground up, it's gonna work. 
I get to drive all over town, get to see people's yards, see how their trees are doing over the years, um, give them recommendations as far as uh, maintenance and care of their new trees. It's a great experience. Um, I tell a lot of people it's probably the best job I've ever had. Um, I even get that from a lot of people that even ask me, is this the best job you've ever had or what? I just love trees. They're so good for the environment. They're so good for the native wildlife, um, if you plant native trees especially. It's our dress code. It's our economic development. It's social. <laughs> <laughs> it's just really caught a lot of energy. And today, we had probably 70 volunteers out here. People love planting trees. I just am so grateful for the attention to the importance of uh, more trees. They plant trees, they prune trees, they learn about why trees are important and they do, it's, it's really community development. I think it's awesome. I completely enjoy stuff like this. Just getting out and doing stuff instead of being stuck in the house. And uh, it's just nice to be able to see people smile for just a tree being planted. And the future looks bright for urban forestry in Tucson. Several thousand more saplings will be going into the ground this year.